Hey there, I'm Matt. I'm a techno evangelist, and this is a new experiment. You see, I've been working on organized videos or, or prepared videos for a number of weeks. Um, I put out one, I put out the introduction to the channel, and then I put out one of these uh, organized or, or pre planned videos on the 5 Hot Plus, which is awesome. And then I've been working on another video which was going to be super timely when I started about a month ago. And I just things get in the way. Things I, I've been super busy at work and really haven't had any time, you know, putting in 12 hour days, 14 hour days, trying to get this one big project done that I've been working on for a few months. And uh, just really haven't had time to invest in my own videos. Um, hopefully that's going to come soon, but I keep delaying this need to create my own stuff. And, you know, I hear other people, other uh, YouTubers talk about, well, maybe do less of the vlogging stuff and more of these content videos. And I'm taking the different approach. I've been focusing on the content videos and not doing this vlogging thing. I'm not sure I feel totally comfortable with it. It's kind of weird talking to a camera without a script planned um, or just, just talking. It's, it's, it's odd. And so, well, let me, I'm gonna, what I'm thinking, I'm, what I think I'm going to do, let's see if I edit. I don't know if I'm gonna edit. Uh, I don't know what the process is here. Do I, do I just speak my mind, edit it down to be somewhat interesting, and then push it up, or do I just speak and push it up? Well, we'll see. We'll see what works. We'll see what people actually wanna watch. I, I, crazy that people are gonna watch this. I think I'm doing it mostly for myself. I wanna see, maybe remember, what did I do? What did I do yesterday? So that's what this thing is gonna be about. What did I do yesterday? And uh, uh, what were my main topics? What were my main focus areas? Um, yesterday, what did I learn? Was there something magical that I learned? Maybe it'd be a good idea to record it. Um, Okay, so uh, usually I mentioned that I am an evangelist for a software company here in Boston, Massachusetts. And yesterday, the things I worked on were, you know, we're building, at the company I work at, we're building a training site. A site where, you know, I've done a bunch of trainings in person. I used to be a trainer for a software company for 10 years traveling the world. And now I'm taking this physical training that I've done a few times, pushing it online, and uh, creating a whole training platform around it so that other departments can get involved as well. And the first training class is a hands-on how to use our product. Now, our product runs up in the cloud looking at infrastructure that you might have on your local machine. I'm not even sure if I'm in screen. Um, so I need you to build that infrastructure. How do I do that? How do I rely, how do I make sure that you have the right infrastructure? I could tell you, okay, now install this product and this product and this product and this product. I could use Docker, I could use Vagrant. I, there's a lot of different options. I chose to go with Vagrant. Uh, that gives me a number of virtual machines that run on your local, on your local uh, computer and each of those machines can talk to each other on their own little network. I can ensure that if you run my script, it's just gonna work. It's always gonna work. It's never not going to work. So that's really valuable. So yesterday I was tweaking uh, the install script for that. Let's see, before I had, uh, here's this Vagrant environment that you download from GitHub. And then here's this shell script file, basically defining an API key that you put in your root directory or in your home directory. I had to put it in the home directory because I need to directly address that file in the Vagrant file. So that's the only location I know of. And what I ended up doing was creating a script uh, instead. And so you just copy and paste a line from the, uh, from the website onto your machine and run that line. And that line downloads a file from GitHub uh, and then put, uh, pipes it to Bash with your API key, with your individually created API key, which is also something that the website creates. And then it, downloads the stuff from GitHub. It, um, it downloads from GitHub. It uh, uses said to edit some of the, the Vagrant files to point to 
a um, that shell script, that API key that I'm going to create in that same directory. So basically, this this install script downloads everything, puts it in one directory of your choosing, and now it's all there. And if you want to delete everything, you delete that one file. And uh, that's pretty that's pretty magical. Am I still recording? Yeah, looks like I am still. Looks like this is still working. Cool. Um, so that is uh, what that's going to do. Um, so I spent a lot of time yesterday trying to tweak it, trying to figure out how do I ask a user for information. Well, maybe I don't. I just rely on them running it in the right directory. Um, and then another thing I was doing was tweaking the LTI module. So our training uh, is using a, a fork of Moodle. And one of the neat things that Moodle supports is LTI, learning tools interoperability. And I've gone ahead and built an LTI provider. Uh, it's hosted on using Lambda and step functions up on AWS. And so every time a person opens up certain pages, it triggers my serverless environment um, and returns a, an assessment. Did they do what they said they were gonna do? So I've been tweaking that a lot, trying to make the language. Originally, the language that it spat back was, here's what I'm doing. When in fact, I should have been saying, okay, here's the thing I need to test. Here's the thing that you've done and what I've tested for, rather than what I'm testing for in the back end, because they're a little bit different. I'm verifying that you do something by looking at one of the artifacts of what you did. And I need to uh, document that I'm looking to see that you did what you, we told you to do. Um, and uh, I wrote down another piece of note, report the training. I don't know what that means. So I guess that's all of, most of what I did yesterday. So let's see if this, um, if this turns out to be interesting. And if, uh, and if it does, uh, hopefully, hopefully I'm gonna get a fan in this room because it is hot. Boston has got hot uh, three days ago and it is hot in here. So I'm gonna go to a coffee shop and then go to work. Okay. Thanks so much for watching. I, I guess maybe I should say, hey, thanks Matt for watching your own video that you created. Uh, it's so exciting to have you here because I'm pretty sure no one else is going to stay till the end. And if you do, hey, if you are here and you're somebody else other than me, send me a tweet. Uh, I'm Techno Evangelist. You know, the same guy that's on the, the channel uh, everywhere, Techno Evangelist. Um, send me a tweet, let me know that you actually got here uh, and uh, that I didn't make a complete fool of myself. Okay, thanks, bye.